Hebei Medical University in collaboration with the International Education College of Jiangxi Chinese Medical University. Jiangxi Chinese Medical University, located in Nanchang, the capital city of Jiangxi Province, was founded in 1959 under the authority of the Central Government of the People's Republic of China. The university was granted recognition by the World Health Organization as a higher learning university of medical science, which encompasses Western medicine as well as Chinese medicine. The university has three beautiful campuses. And the largest of the three campuses is the 1,800-acre Wanli campus, which is nestled in the idyllic countryside a half hour west of the city of Nanchang. At present, the university has more than 10,000 students. The academic departments are numerous and include Western medicine, traumatology, orthopedics, pharmacy, traditional Chinese medicine, and acupuncture. The university also boasts a nationally recognized bioengineering center and a facility for postdoctoral instruction and research. There are 15 institutes and 21 research divisions and 24 laboratories. In fact, recently built at the Wanli campus is the largest laboratory building in the People's Republic of China. The university has four affiliated hospitals having more than 2,000 beds. Two of these hospitals hold the distinction of being one of the AAA class medical facilities in the country. The university enjoys an excellent reputation for its research and treatment of the following diseases, bronchial asthma, hyperlipidemia, hepatitis B, chronic glomenophritis, chronic renal failure, diabetes, apoplexy, hemiparalysis, rheumatic arthritis, dermatosis, adiposis simplex, androgenic alopecia, throat diseases, and sexual disorders. Working with the university is an internationally known pharmaceutical manufacturer with a total of asset of over 760 million RMB, and many students conduct their research with this company. These affiliated enterprises have become an important part of our ongoing research in medical and educational practices. Jiangxi Chinese Medical University has been designated by the National Ministry of Education as one of the higher learning universities eligible to accept overseas students. It has already accepted more than 300 students from over 20 foreign countries including Sweden, Belgium, Holland, France, Germany, the United States, the United Kingdom, Yugoslavia, Slovenia, India, and Nepal. The students are taught in different languages, which include Chinese, English, French, Japanese, and Korean. This environment helps to create a rich educational experience for both students and visiting scholars from abroad. Hubei Medical University, which was founded in 1915, is recognized by the World Health Organization as a comprehensive medical university. The university is a leader in the educational development of medical science, which includes Western medicine, traditional Chinese medicine, and pharmacy. In total, there are 14 colleges and 15 specialties at the university's facilities. Hebei Medical University is authorized to confer advanced PhD degrees in 20 fields and master degrees in more than 72 specialties. The Chinese Academy of Preventive Medical Science has set up a special division as Hubei Academy branch in this university. The university has a faculty staff of over 7,100 highly trained professional educators. This includes 266 professors, senior researchers and chief physicians and 767 associate professors all of whom are of high quality educators.
special recognition has been awarded at the provincial and national level to 18 nationally recognized advanced experts. In the course of the revolution in educational systems and methodology and to cope with the current advancements of educational networking, the Chinese government has adopted a policy of merging two or more universities. This helps to create a large integrated educational environment that is capable of conducting and facilitating advanced courses in different disciplines and provides a superior quality of education. In one such endeavor, Jiangxi Chinese Medical University's International Education College, in collaboration with Hebei Medical University, has introduced a new MBBS program in the English language. The teaching curriculum is based on the standard Indian medical school syllabus and conforms to international standards and requirements for recognition by international organizations so graduates will be able to apply for medical residencies in the international community. The medical education at Jiangxi Chinese Medical University is designed to train students to become medical doctors of a world-class distinction. Through the academics of basic science and clinical training, the students will become internationally recognized primary care physicians equipped with advanced knowledge in a myriad of medical fields. The program in Western medicine has the goal to impart quality medical education and training of the highest order to the undergraduates, postgraduate, and doctoral medical students from the different corners of the globe through a broad array of teaching medical disciplines in a skilled academic environment. For the foreign students of the International Education College of Jiangxi Chinese Medical University, there are many on-campus facilities for enjoying life and studying well. Ni hao. I am a student of Jiangxi Chinese Medical University. I am a foreign student from India. And uh, it has been a pleasure studying here. It has been already six months we have been here. And it's like a home away from home, be it the teachers or our classmates or the management or everybody here is very friendly. The Chinese people especially, they are very helping. They, they know that we've come so far away from our homes. They, they are always ready to help us, always there for us. Even if we go at, at the odd hours, they'll stand up and they won't hesitate to help us. And about well, this university, well, the campus is very beautiful, it's big, it provides us a lot of scope for many activities, including sports and co-curricular activities, in which we all, uh, almost all the foreign students are actively participating. Uh, regarding the teaching, we have, we have a good staff, we have a good group of teachers, they are very cooperative, very helping. About the hostel, we are having a flat system, uh, six people in one flat. Uh, the girls' hostel is separate from boys' hostel. Girls' hostel has a special security. We have the automatic doors. We have the uh, emergency calling phone for the security. Then we have the caller IDs. Then we have all kinds of facilities. We have the management people staying in the office. Not even till late night, for the whole night they stay there. And even if we have problem at 3 o'clock in the morning or 12 o'clock at night, we, are, we can go there anytime and they'll be there to help us. Even uh, even the teachers are there. We don't have basically any problems here. Even if we have some problems regarding studies or something, but then it's a new start. It's a new start. These problems are faced by anybody. Who, who, who takes a new step, you have to face the problems. But then we are trying, the Chinese people are trying, management is trying, everybody is trying the level best to cope up with the stress, to cope up with all the problems and hopefully we'll come up with flying colors soon. We'll surely make this university, this college, the best in the whole world. Thank you. The library. The university's grand library rivals the main building as the most memorable site on campus. This 10-story library demonstrates a tradition of excellence in education it is home to over 820,000 books and 
printed materials, which include numerous English medical books and periodicals. The scholarly air is produced by a wealth of academic endeavors and complemented by a diverse array of other facilities that include the main and auxiliary reading rooms, reference rooms, a journal and periodical rooms, photocopy rooms, storage rooms for rare books, seminar facilities, internet services, and student lounges. The laboratory building and classrooms. Jiangxi Chinese Medical University has modern and sophisticated teaching buildings and facilities. As the largest laboratory building in Asia, the university's laboratory building is a curved building that is over 400 meters long and reaches seven stories into the air. Inside there are hundreds of rooms and laboratories for the students, dissection halls, biochemistry, physiology, and microbiology practical laboratories, to name but a few, are some of the most sophisticated and modern facilities available for teaching medical students. Vast lecture halls to accommodate hundreds of students with beautiful teakwood furniture, computers on every desk, and acoustically designed halls make learning even the most difficult subjects much easier. These modern lecture halls have computer projection screens and public address systems with recording facilities. Clinical study. Many experienced doctors have been invited as practical training tutors for the international students and receive support from the four affiliated hospitals and more than 10 training hospitals within the university. According to the principles of integrating practice with theories and emphasizing clinical studies in medical training, the college adopts a special teaching method in which the preclinical and clinical studies are carried out alternatively and theories and practice are combined, and in this way they supplement each other. Faculty An old adage states that there are no bad students only bad teachers. The college takes this maxim to heart and has endeavored to recruit only the finest scholars for faculty positions. Today, the college applies stringent qualifications during the faculty recruiting process to provide the best quality of teaching available. These researchers and lecturers commit themselves to help students to succeed not just in the immediate sense of finding a job or pursuing an advanced degree, but in order to realize their full potential and to accomplish their goals through personal and professional excellence. The college has Chinese medical experts with extensive backgrounds who have endeavored to continue their academic careers by teaching and conducting research in many countries such as England, the United States, and Canada. In addition, the university currently has professors and instructors in residence from the United States, Canada, India, and Nepal. Housing. The university offers a wide range of well-furnished apartments and dormitories for on-campus housing for students. Three newly built dormitories have hundreds of three-room apartments, each room able to accommodate two students. Each three-room apartment has a bathroom, a living room, and four individual balconies. The apartments are furnished with modern refrigerators, color televisions, hot water heaters, washing machines, air conditioners, bookshelves, beds, desks, and wardrobes for each student. Each student room has individual telephones for unlimited incoming calls. In addition, students arriving at the university after the fall of 2005 will be provided with a computer with free internet connection for each apartment. This is to satisfy the increasing need of the information age. These three dormitories are all within walking distance of the classrooms. Student safety is assured as the dormitories operate under the Student Dormitory Inspection Team. 
fall athletic festival and athletic activities. In the middle of the fall semester, students engage in a number of athletic events that reinforce their spirit of competitiveness and the drive to succeed, with both intercollegiate and interdepartmental competitions, students solidify friendships and cooperation with their classmates as well as Chinese students. Students also take their professors from behind the lecture pulpit and into the playing field by inviting them to take part in their competitions. The university fosters the physical abilities of its athletes by providing a variety of competitive sports teams. It offers competitions in soccer, basketball, cricket, volleyball, and gymnastics, along with track and field. Other major facilities. In the Wanli campus, there are other major facilities available for the foreign students, such as a modern gymnasium, athletic playing fields, a large supermarket, a performing arts hall, internet facilities, a bank, a local post office, a weight training gym, and several restaurants and canteens which offer a variety of vegetarian and non-vegetarian foods. We're enjoying the study and um, the more about the environment. The environment out here, really studious type of environment. Uh, we can go to the lakeside, gardens, there are many trees out here. So even in the summer also, under the set, we can study, we can discuss there, I mean, the discussing, discussing type of uh, places, I mean, under the trees, we can go to the gardens, we can discuss out here, a silent places, where no disturbances out there, and moreover, other plus points are also here, like, we get our traditional food out here, Nepali Indian food, and moreover, there are many other plus points. Like that we have got English books in our library and they have given free computers, I mean net service to us. Moreover about the cultural sector also. Cultural sector every, I mean in the interval of months we, are, we all can get to enjoy, entertain ourselves by the different cultural activities. Likewise we ourselves participate in cultural activities. Moreover the Chinese, our colleagues, Chinese colleagues they also entertain us with the cultural activities. So uh, this this is very nice for all of us. Being the first year also we all are these all the Chinese people are cooperating with us and uh, we didn't miss our we miss our country of course but also we are I mean adjusting out here we could adjust out here in a very short span of time. So thank you. I want to thank very much to the administration and to all the leaders, colleagues, friends, Chinese friends, that's it, thank you. Conclusion. Knowledge knows no boundary, and therefore an exchange of medical as well as Chinese language knowledge in this university has established an intellectual community of students with a broad perspective on the world and academic and intellectual expertise to help provide preventive, promotive, and curative national health care. Medical excellence with a human touch is a need of the new century. And Nepal, India, and China, through this joint venture project, will consolidate the international relationship and open the window to the Southeast Asian sector in the field of medical education, thereby providing financial support and serving the people of this region. This program also provides an opportunity for the potential foreign medical undergraduate students to study medicine at a first-class Chinese medical university. The rewards of studying at this collaborative program are endless. Develop your potential in an innovative, flexible, yet supportive learning environment. Gain an internationally recognized qualification that will open doors for you in your future. We would like to welcome you to come join us here at Jiangxi Chinese Medical University.